Don't, don't be confusing my statements by bringing facts into them. This just in, how to get the news before it's news. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by lynda.com. If you want to know the news before it's on the news, we've got more than a dozen online sources for you to follow that will put you ahead of CNN, Sky News, and the Crime Watch captain who keeps blowing up your email inbox. For starters, Neighborhood Crime Watch has gone virtual and social. One woman who listens to police radios in Venice, California now has more than 12,000 people following her at Venice311 Twitter account to get her updates. While in Dallas, a group who monitor police scanners now have more than 16,000 people following them at DFW Scanner and more than 75,000 likes on their Facebook account. Or you could just cut out the middlemen and women and listen to police radios yourself. Broadcastify.com has more than 3,000 live police and fire scanner feeds from around the country. Facebook and Twitter subscriptions for your local police and fire agencies are worth a try. More local law enforcement agencies are using social media to notify the public of incidents. And some agencies, like the California Highway Patrol, Chips Dave, offer live feeds of their dispatch logs online so you can find out just what traffic is like, why it's at a standstill on the 101. The link, cad.chp.ca.gov is a bit cumbersome, so just grab it from our show notes at geekbeat.tv. Most breaking news shows up on Twitter first because it's easy and fast. Here are five accounts for you to follow to keep you ahead of the network cut-ins. At Breaking News was started by an individual in 2007. NBC News now curates the feed from more than 300 different sources with almost 6 million followers. At BBC Breaking has almost as large of a following and offers worldwide perspective news from a UK slant, while Al Jazeera English follows developing nations at AJE Live. Captains of industry follow breaking financial news from the Wall Street Journal at WSJ Breaking News, while weather geeks follow the Weather Channel at TWC Breaking. Or you could go right to the source. The National Weather Service's weather.gov is an excellent resource for local and severe weather. And in hurricane season, the National Hurricane Center at nhc.noaa.gov is also a must follow. Some citizen storm chasers have networked to offer up videos at chaser.tv and severe.studios.com. These are the guys and gals the networks buy their footage from, so you'll often see tornado and storm video there first. If you feel the earth move under your feet, head toward earthquake.usgs.gov. The site features a real-time map linked to seismographs around the world, although there can be a bit of a lag for reports of small quakes while the seismologists review data from multiple recording stations before posting to make sure that was a real quake and not just a big truck rumbling past one of their listening posts. Speaking of rumbling trucks, Dave, yes. did you know you could go to lynda.com and learn how to make the sounds for rumbling trucks running through the studio? and all kinds of other cool video production stuff. And not only video production, they have brain food in like at least 200 million categories. I think they have, if I'm not correct, just correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, 13 trillion videos? About. Something like that. It's right around in that area. And you, if you go to lynda.com with a Y, Look right down there, lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. You get one free week of all you can eat training. And what about after the free week? After the free week, it's 25 bucks a month. Well, you could pay a little bit more, I think, but 25 bucks a month will get you all you can listen to. Fill your gourd with lynda.com. By the way, did you know lynda.com? Did you know she's? it's named after Linda, who she was Miss Universe? Yeah, and I'm she almost was certain. Head, head of state of Iceland or something. I think so. I think you're yeah. right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. During wildfire season, it's a good idea to look for the website of your state forestry and fire agencies, but in the U.S., incineweb.org is a good source for updates during major fires that threaten many homes or cover very large areas. Incineweb. That sounds pretty awesome. Finally, for breaking tech news, what else but 
Geekby TV. Follow my Twitter feed at John Pose and stop by our Geeks G Plus community between episodes and your geek cred will always be protected. I'm John P. See you next time. Kad Chipkagov. The link Kad Chipkagov is a bit cumbersome. Some citizen storm chasers have networked up videos at Chase TV and <laughs> Chaser TV. <laughs> During wildlife season, it's a good idea to look During for the wildfire season. Oops. <laughs> During wildlife season, you can go to chargingpachyderms.com. Right. <laughs>